Verhuki means to pull, and Lao refers to <clears throat> um, how would you define Lao? A anyway, yeah. Lao is the tea leaf that was used, and it's it's a object that's put on a piece of rope so that it dangles and it has motion to it. So they pulled on the rope and the lao was tied to the rope and that's what you were pulling in and, and the net in the old days there was just one piece of net at the very end which was like a bag and the rest of the, the line was just rope with this lao all tied to it and that's hooky lao. They pulled on the rope until the net got closer and the lao kept the fish within a border so they didn't run out and they all eventually went into the net. So that's what hukilau is. It's a thing they got a big uh, fishing net and they make a big circle in the bay here or water here and they have people come to it and pull it in. You know, you have more than one anyway. A lot of people on both sides of that net and pull that net in, you know, for hook, as a, that, as, that's what they call a hukilau. We had people on the hill here watching the bay and they could see the schools of fish coming out in and they can tell you, like my dad and my grandpa, how many pounds there were, what size there were and when it got into a good place they would come out and surround it with their nets. I have real strong, warm memories of family, friends, neighbors, all of us coming together to do a hukilau, which was a special event because it took planning and it took resources, but it brought everybody together for a day of fun and work. And there was work involved, but we had from the kupunas to the young people to the children, everybody had a role and a part to play Everybody contributed, but everybody also received. The good thing is that it's just that getting together and talking story. You know, we, we enjoyed our company with each other. Maybe there was a friend I haven't seen him for a long time. Then we got to talk, you know, with each other. That was a, a nice thing about getting together with everybody. But the word got out when it when uh, they put that net out there, it got out real fast and the people came, you know, to pull that net in. Working together, that was the most important thing. You would have to listen to the people in charge and they'd give you directions of what to do, either row the boat or pull up the net or do something. And you'd have to follow them really well. When, if they told you to jump off, you'd have to jump off and swim to shore, you know, that kind of stuff. So I remember that really well. The old days, you know, and we still are, family-oriented and community-oriented. The extended family goes from your immediate family to the community and even to the whole island. And, and you have to bring that concept back. And you'll see it, it like during the Iniki, time of disaster, everybody pulled together and worked together and, and was able to work. And, it's still there, it's got to be nurtured, and it's got to be instilled in people, yeah. Marilyn Wong Keoho was the inspiration for bringing together the ideas of a hukilau, but connecting it to the ideas of community building. And Marilyn's skills as a facilitator began to develop and grow through her work after Iniki, helping to rebuild Kauai, helping to bring people together. Following her work with uh, Kauai United Way, she began to work for the Drug-Free Hawaii Coalition. And in that experience, there was always a need to learn how to bring the community together to begin to deal with some of the issues that we were having on the island with the youth and drugs and alcoholism. But what she did was take a real positive, preventive approach to it. And so the hukilau was her way to present another way or the island style of building community through this experience. I remember on Oahu, mm -hmm. uh, we actually had a, a workshop on the hukilau. Mm -hmm. It was an opportunity for all the uh, event uh, attendees to see how the hukilau works mm -hmm. and then being able to draw the comparison 
with the hukilau and the actual bringing together of community. The older days was a small town feeling, small town community. The communities were close. They did a lot of things together, whether it was sports. <clears throat> everybody went to everybody's parties and funerals and the hukilaus. It brought everybody together. And you just don't, now, a lot of people, we don't know a lot of the community. And there aren't a lot. We try to keep up the activities in Kilauea to have the community come together. But changes have come, you know, and, and westernization, I call it westernization, which changes people um, to, to not be so family-oriented, community-oriented, and they start actually becoming more self-oriented. And I think it's that small town, small place feeling, country feeling, that is kind of slipping away, and hopefully we don't lose it. Well, I remember when we had a hukalau and and my wife and I came in, came out here, and she was so excited because, you know, to be fishing with, with her friends all out here, yeah. You know, so we really enjoyed it very much, you know. But, like I, you know, I hope this will happen again and again, you know. To see, for this young generation to see what we used to do. You know, as a young teenager, um, you don't think about gathering community. When, when there's a call for hukilau, the excitement just is in the air because it's a time when uh, we're going to go out fishing, there's going to be a lot of fish, and you're going to catch a lot of fish. So as a young youngster, you don't think about the impact, the gathering of people coming together for fishing. How, how does it impact community? In today's society, we see how the hukilau model uh, really impacts our daily life in whatever we do. If there's cooperation and if there's uh, a unity, then the job can, can get done. If we can work in harmony, we can accomplish all things. Yes. One of the key important parts of anything we do is to ag acknowledge and be grateful for what we do have. And Marilyn, we would say thank you to her for her leadership, her vision, and for helping us go forward. And if it's okay, we thank Bernard for his vision, his leadership, and his willingness to build community on behalf of all of us. Mayor Bernard, he was on our committee as well, yep. back with Marilyn. All the lessons he learned. We had a great time. Uh, we learned a lot. A lot. And um, we're seeing the, the fruits that, right. uh, of that committee. Now Bernard's actually putting it into yeah. action. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a great feeling to see, to see it happening, uh, how effective it is, and just utilizing the practice of the hukilau mm -hmm. in today's government. It's just awesome. It is. It's a good thing. Good job.